<laughs> Kids, don't steal. Hi, welcome back to Brew Review Winnipeg. My name's David, and today we're going to be reviewing a beer from Coal Harbor Brewing Company. I don't know if you can see that, but it's from Vancouver. Shout out to our Vancouver friends, Angie and Mike. Make sure to check out their channel. It will be in the description box below. Give their channel uh, six or seven subscriptions. Make some more accounts if you have to, just to, to get that seven subscriptions. Yeah, so this is a Gose. It's a Sunrise Gose, which is really cool. We haven't done a lot of Gose's here. We've done a couple. This one's a little bit lighter though. It's only 3.8%. So this is, for me, like a perfect daytime beer. If I was allowed to uh, have a drink at work, like a session like they do in England, they do it in England, okay? Uh, they do lots of things in England that I don't agree with. And anyways, this would probably be it. So, you know, I'll go say it's a little bit more tart, a little bit salty, but I mean, that's just the style of the beer. I don't know how much this costs, but I really like the name Coal Harbor Brewing Company. That reminds me of like Victoria times, like Victorian times when they still relied on coal and so you had all the industry men working hard to like get the coal from the ships onto the harbor and then from the harbor to the place i don't know just kind of cool anyways let's crack this bad boy open mm, love that sound no spill in here i really like that color but there's a lot of sediment in that there beer. I don't know if you can see that, but that's a lot of sediment. But we're not here to judge the sediment. How does this bad boy taste? Hmm. That's more tr like a traditional gose that I've had. It's definitely more tart than any of the other ones that I've had. Finishes a little bit salty. Very bright, right when you drink it. And then finishes, yeah, a bit salty, a bit like, yeah, a little bit malty. Uh, finishes, yeah, kind of hoppy, malty. Uh, lots of coriander in here. Uh, you can tell because it says it on the back. So that's, uh, it's good. It's a good beer by all accounts. But I would say this is like a good sipping beer. It's not heavy, but it is very strong in that it is very tart. So you'd want to just nurse it over the course of an hour or so, or by the time it gets cold. Just because, yeah, it's you want to enjoy this. You want to just sit down and drink it. Yeah, so I give this bad boy uh, probably a 7 out of 10, 7.5. Yeah, it's very enjoyable. Definitely worth the pickup. Yeah. So, thanks Cole Harbor. Till next time, brew on. Shout out to uh, my toque. I think this is the perfect toque to be doing this review with. It's uh, this little pom-pom here. It's technically a coal miner toque because what they would do, how, how the pom-pom came to be, is when coal miners were in the shafts and digging away, they would look up and they'd bonk their heads on on uh, on the rock, on the coal, and so they sewed a pom pom on it to protect their heads, essentially, from little minor bumps and concussions. Maybe that's why they didn't have such good lifespans way back when. It wasn't even the black lung; it was just they're getting concussed and then probably knocked out, and then the black lung. So, yeah, shout out to the pom pom. <laughs>